Yo guys, it's Sarah. You already know that today we are back playing Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. On the last time, um, we found out that Joey and Taya have been taken. They've been kidnapped. We fought some ghouls that have been causing trouble around the town. Um, but we haven't learned uh, that much more. We got Tristan to go and help us find information. Um, but there isn't really anywhere else that we can go in the clock tower square thingy. Um, so I'm going to start looking around other locations to see if we can find anything. We're going to start at the card shop uh, just to see if there's anything here. Sorry, right, I don't know. If I see them, I'll be sure to let you know. All right, so I assume they're not in here. Okay, we got a fine selection of cards. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing that right now because that's going to take too much time to look through all that. And I uh, don't have the time for that. Can I go down here? I can. Um, I mean, it doesn't do anything for me, but I, I can go here. Okay, cool. So they're not down there in the card shop. All right, card shop. No go. How about uh, I want to. Yeah, let's go to let's go to art. Oh, hello. You, you possess rare cards. Those cards, I, I clam. I clam in the name of the ghouls. Okay, you can claim it if you want. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna beat you. I'm willing to risk my sword arm of dragon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, like I said, I assume there's gonna be a lot of ghoul fights. And um, so I built my deck around being able to beat fiends. Uh, first off, I love that I have this thousand dives with zero attack, zero defense. It'll come in handy one day. Uh, I'm going to... You know what? Yeah. Boom, take that. I love being able to have a monster with zero attack that's just, you know, steamrolling through. Oh no, not my zero attack monster. That's actually one of the... Well, it didn't really matter. I was like, but that's kind of why I wanted to keep this Mask of Darkness for a future turn. That way I could make sure I have a monster that can actually start doing damage. Because uh, I, I didn't know what that magic card was, but... I'm glad that it worked out for me. We'll throw out Yashinoki. Sure, why not? Uh, we have a lot of our weaker cards to, to start. But we'll see if we get any of our better cards now. Ooh, Patrol Robo. That is 1,100. I think Mask of Darkness is slightly above 11. Yeah, 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 1,170. And yeah, everything's a fiend. So all I need is... Uh, what? Oh, Giant Germ is a shadow, so it gets the boost. Oh, gosh. That's uh, pretty incredible. I didn't even think about that. I thought Giant Germ was going to be a plant... Uh, is it not? Oh no, it's a fiend shadow. All right, I. Maybe, all right, I, I forget. I already forget what happened on the on the last time. If I put it in because I thought it was a plant, or if I put it in because it's a, a fiend, uh, with slightly lower cost because it only has under defense. But I don't really care about monsters with low defense because I don't know. I'm, I'm not really out defending. I feel like the best way to win these duels is to just have higher attack and just like win that way. So we'll, we'll see if that strategy ever backfires. But for now, it's fine. I don't know if like end game. Uh, opponents are just going to have a bunch of, like, mirror forces uh, that are going to destroy all my bosses in attack mode or something, but until that happens, I'm just going to keep on with this strategy, and uh, as of right now, it's working. Take that. Three by five, four nine hundred domino. We're getting so many, so much domino. Uh, okay, we got the dirt deck. I think I already had one of those. Strong, are you? But this is merely the beginning. Okay, we got you. What about, what about y'all? Who's have claimed this area? Get out. Oh, the other guy just claimed it, but you guys have claimed it. Okay. I guess that's why you're uh, strong. All right, I even tried to duel them, and I cannot duel them. All right, so that's what's happening in art. Uh, what about in park? Uh, it seems eerily quiet. Y'all have to say. Who should I duel with next? Are you a duelist? How would you like to duel against me? Uh, maybe. The ghouls? Uh, I haven't seen any around here. Really? Really, really, really? Guy wearing a high school uniform? No, I don't remember seeing anyone like that. Sorry. Okay. What? What do you want, punk? You challenging me? God, guts, come on. Uh, we'll see about that. Okay, you're in all just Weevil's army. Okay, insect army. Oh, so this turn into you, but not next time. All right. It doesn't seem like anybody has information. We'll see. I don't think I have to duel anybody for information, but I would end up being wrong about that. Let's see what's happening on the bridge. Oh well. Hey, buddy, do you have any information? We the ghouls have assumed control. All duelists shall be eradicated. Okay, you can try to eradicate me if you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and you know what? How about this Arabi. That should be pretty valuable. Uh, okay. Oh, dude, I got a, a light monster that benefits from from the from the darkness. Let's go. Go white magical hat. That's why I put you in the deck. Yeah, this deck is so fantastically anti ghoul. And I love it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna say it doesn't matter for the extra 200 points to, to life damage. Actually, it's only 130 extra points uh, of damage to the life points. What if that white magical hack? It's like a nice. I guess it's a 30 percent increase. I guess every. I'm, I'm assuming that might be that might be the number. It might just be a straight 30 percent increase for everybody. Wow, you got the one. All oh, right, I'm not a. I, I saw a Megaris light. And I was like, oh, I'm a light monster. I'm fine. No, I'm. That's not how it works. Oh well. That's why I attacked. Oh, Dark Rabbit. Okay. All right, I'm not really scared of your Dark Rabbit. For reasons like that one, I can out damage you in every way. All right, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. And as my deck cost goes up, I can keep putting better cards in my deck, uh, which is going to be really good. I don't know if these pools... I, I don't know how how, how long uh, I, I need to have this like anti-fiend deck. Because when it gets to another portion, I'm probably going to have to like rework my deck to, to something else. Oh, that's a stuffed animal. Is that a... Okay, well, White Magical Hat is stronger, even if it's not a fiend. But I assume it is. Ooh, baby. Wait. Whoa, wait. wait. One. I need to find out how much it actually increases by. Is it a percentage? Because if so, I'm still going to be at zero. <laughs> For science. Megamorph was activated. Part of a monster. <laughs> Alright, just puts him up by 500. Alright, I didn't know if it was like a thousand. I didn't know if it was like a percent. I did not know. I mean, it... I don't know if it can be a percent. Can it be a percent? We're going to have to use Megamorph again for more science. <laughs> I had to try. I had to see what would happen. I'm not really uh, worried about losing. I'm pretty sure I got this, so... Uh, I mean, I could die points on you, but I won't. Actually, oh, wait, how many points do you have? Oh, I'm just going to have to attack. I was going to use the effect, but actually I have to attack if I want to end the, the fight this turn. Okay, we got that. 3600 Domino. Exodia the Forbidden One, wow, how about that? That is, uh, pretty incredible. All five gather in the hands of the player, he wins. I could probably get that to happen once if I really wanted to. I don't think this is over. Hey, you're walking off. I'm getting a little like happy noise every time that I beat one. Uh, wait, how do I get to that side of the? Wasn't I able to get to that side of the bridge before? Oh, here it is. All right, we'll fight another one. All the red cards in the land belong to the ghouls. We claim your cards for ourselves. What if I? What if I just offer up Exodia the Forbidden One as a? Uh, as my thing. You know what? Arabi got me Exodia before. You can do it again. Ooh, okay. Oh, interesting. Alright, I have a lot of ideas here. I think we... Put that there. Alright, let's see if it's always 500. It is... Not always 500. I think that might also be a percentage of some sort. I don't know what it is. We're going to do its effect. We're going to duplicate. And now next turn, he's going to try to attack one of the Dorons. Widespread Ruin's going to go off, and I'm going to have at least three monsters. Oh, you didn't. Really now? Really now? Uh, I'm going to keep up everybody attacking until he attacks and my Widespread Ruin goes off. Then I'll sacrifice and probably put out the Insect Queen unless I draw, like, Skull Knight or some other sort of monster worth putting out. Yeah, there we go. Take that. And now, we are going to go ahead, sacrifice, sacrifice, insect queen, take that. I guess if I used the effect, I could have powered myself up, but I, I mean, who cares? Is that how that works? Yeah, I can power up based on, yeah, yeah, but that's, I have to use the effect for that. That's probably why it's such a low cost. Like, you have to sacrifice two to put it out, and then you can put the, do the effect. Let's just, like, put all of our strong monsters out here. This duel went incredibly. That was fantastic. Alright. Increase by 5. 4,800 domino. Humanoid slime. Oh, alright. It has 2,000 defense, so 319 for that. Uh, again, I don't think having the high defense is worth the cost of 319. So, but that's uh, objectively a pretty good card. We are invincible. This isn't the end. I'd say you're invincible, but, like, I, uh... Keep beating you all, so I don't know how invincible you really are. You're the same one as before. I don't think I need to beat the, the ghouls over and over again. 
let's look at the aquarium. Oh, yep, there is a ghoul here. All right, I'll, I'll beat you up. All right, so we'll be mowing down without mercy. Ha 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 ha. Poor thing. All right, Arabi actually is working out as a pretty good uh, anti here. Hmm. Put you in defense. Hope to draw something a little bit better to combine with Megamorph, or at least get an idea of how much strong I need to be. That could be a dark hole face down. I am a little worried about. Oh, that kind of sucks. I kind of have to do it this way. Which is unfortunate because that could be a magic. That could be like a dark hole or something. Okay, right, it's not. It's probably not. All right, we have a light monster now, so this is actually huge. Okay. All right. I was like, I don't have any other good cards in my hand without sacrificing first. So I was a little worried. How about a light? Uh, I will just sacrifice that to bring out the Rose Spectre. I know having a light monster is good, but also having powerful monsters is also good. I mean, Darkhold would have killed my other one anyway. So it's not the end of the world. Um... It is very not good for us, though. I don't have a light monster, and I don't have anything above 900 right now. Ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We need a light monster, or Raigeki, or Dark Hole, or Widespread Ruin. But I need it fast. I need it fast. I have so many options of what I could draw. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, all right. And we have Megaris Light. That's 1170. That's really good. Don't have, like, another Dark Hole immediately. Okay. Uh, I think we do it this way. I love when the entirety of the opponent's deck is all one type because it makes it so easy to plan around. I'll put this here, but I am just going to sacrifice, bring out Leo Wizard so I can just do more damage to the Light Boys. And I think we are basically guaranteed to win. Dark Hole takes out every card. It's not just monsters? I don't remember. I'd have to look at Dark Hole again to see if Dark Hole is always just monsters or... Uh, it's every card. I know in real life it's like every card, but I think in the game it might just be monsters. Either way, it doesn't matter. We won. 45 bunch of Domino. Frog the Jam. Uh, that's not all that good. This is not the end. The ghouls are taking over this town. Your chance of survival no longer exists. Okay, okay. All right, we keep getting a little happy noise. There's another ghoul right here. I'm gonna take him out. This is just a bunch of ghoul fights. I assume I just have to beat like every ghoul and then um, after that, what is the, the cost of you two? 161 versus 150. Maybe the clouds obviously is better in every way. I'm just gonna use that as anti. But yeah, I assume after you beat every single ghoul, maybe we can go back to the, to the card shop and something will happen there. Do you have Patrol Robo? I don't have a Light Monster, but I do have this. However, if you if you sacrifice, it's going to be bad for me. Uh, 1215. I, good thing I did just enough correct math. All right, so we got that. Oh, we also have a Light Monster. Let's go. Good. Bye. <laughs> I was like, I'm actually going to take the... I'm more willing to take a chance that the face down was a fiend monster more than I was willing to take a chance that the face down monster had less than 12, 15 defense. <laughs> All right, we're just going to put like a bunch of stuff on the field. Might be able to take out one of the Dorons, but if he does, fine. And if not, it's even better. Oh, let's go. Uh, Let us actually just sacrifice one. Or the Leo Wizard. Could have put out the last warrior, but... I don't know. I think I could probably still do that next time. Actually, probably not even going to be necessary. Still can't take me out. Yep. We're just going to do it this way. And I'm pretty sure I would... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to bring out anybody else. Alright. I think there's only... The building is the only one left. Brand Tiki Elder, what is that? Okay, it's 1500 in attack, Dreams Fiend. Oh, that is cool. I feel like having more Dream 
monster is going to be good eventually. I don't know why. I just feel like they're not very common. So there's probably a good use for them later down the line. But we'll see. I don't think you've won. But I have, though. I think you understand. All right, let's go to the building and see if they've taken over the building. Uh, hello? Where are you? Are you a duelist, too? Everything's going for you. I'm doing my best, but I'm not getting the results. Okay, I don't think... I don't think there's any ghouls here. I don't think there's anybody related to Joey or Taya or anything. What about the rooftop here? Nope, there's no one up here. Alright. And you don't have anything to say. Your friends don't have a clue. Of course not. If we ask people on the second floor, they're probably not going to say anything. Let's get together here and duel. Friends disappear. Sorry we haven't been outside at all today. I don't know what you're talking about. With my friends here. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of assumed I wasn't going to get anything here. Hopefully now we might be able to go back. No bubby while I'm trying to play. Looking for someone? It's alright, I don't know anything. So, well, yeah, I saw him a while ago here, but I don't have a clue as to where he was headed. Okay. That was the closest uh, anybody came to helping out. Let's go back. Maybe check in. See if anybody's at the top down here. No. About... Kristen, did you get any useful leads? I mean, I thought I did. What if I just duel you? I guess the goal is right, so I'll help you out. <laughs> you know, I'll even give you Exodia if uh, if you somehow beat me. Watch now. Watch, he's probably somehow, like, really, like, powered up. That'd be really funny. Like, I don't think I need to duel him for any reason. But, like, at this point, I don't know what else to do. Uh, I might end up ending off the episode and you know coming back on with more information next time uh that is a likely scenario because i don't know where else to look i feel like i beat up every ghoul right i think i talked to everybody that exists and i can't think of what else i would possibly need to do yeah i'm not sure I'm pretty sure I've, like, talked to everybody. Unless there's somebody, like, that I very specifically need to, like, duel. Uh, then that's the only thing that could potentially be something. I'm actually just, like, almost playing on autopilot at this point. Uh, I have to think a little bit, but oh, look at that. We were able to do it in one turn, too. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Oh, I got another Necrogon number two. Good stuff. The ghouls are everywhere, and there are much fewer duelists around. I spoke to the duelists the ghouls beat. Sounds like the toughest of the ghouls is the one hanging around in the park. Try beating him, and should have some information. Do I have to talk to him after I beat him? All right, so in the park. All right, dueling actually did end up uh, having uh, a positive consequence. Oh, wait, you weren't in here before, were you? There wasn't anybody in the park. We are the ghouls. All the have fell to their easy for us. All right, hold on. I, hold on. Man, I'm, I'm getting better at figuring out what I'm supposed to do. Oh, uh, let's do... Well, I said we'll just do sword arm. Then you're the most powerful, so we'll see if that is true. Or if you go down to the unhappy maiden like all the others. <laughs> I found a use for the unhappy maiden, and I've never been more happy in my life. She doesn't have anything to be unhappy about anymore. She can solo all the ghouls. Well, kind of. She can't actually do damage to the life points, so that's a little bit of a problem. Although, if I gave her Mega Morph, then she could. So, you know, is something. Oh, dude, I was like, wow, uh, I'm going to have to sacrifice to bring this thing out. No, I don't. This is just the four-star monster with 1,500 attack that benefits from the dark. <laughs> Let's go. Mel Melkid, Melkid the, the foul beast or something. What are you? What's your name? Four-faced beast. I just saw FO and I was like, what, what other word could that be? Very good stuff. Very good stuff indeed. Actually, how much more do we need to do to life points? Can I do 800? I can't. Yeah, because I can't sacrifice uh, to bring that out after attacking. I'm gonna bring out the key mace. There we go. Next turn. It's over for you. Goodbye. 
And goodbye. You're so strong, huh? All right, but he might have information. So that's good to know. Six by five, 2000 Domino, Worm Drake. Uh, a worm like creature that uses long body. All right, four star, 1400 attack, 1500 defense, earth monster, insect. Okay. Might be worth it. We'll see. When it's over, we shall return. Okay, wait, is there more? Oh, there is more. All right, let's just. Yeah, let's let's try and clear out the park and then we'll, we'll figure it out from here. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll throw out a sword arm. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this here just in case. But I think for right now, I'm going to put out the Mask of Darkness and see if he can beat it. If he can, I could force the Ashinoki. Um, hmm, you know what? You know what? What if we do that, then bring out Yashinoki, then change this to Forest, then boom, and let's see what happens. Welp, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Uh, now I know. What's Pot of Greed? I think we're actually going to get away with this. Because you are... You are a fiend. Um... I think... Mask of Darkness should go above 1400 with this. This is going to be for science, but if you go from 0 to 500... Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, you do only go to 1400. Interesting. Right, we're still gonna have one card on the field because oh, you're 1430 very unfortunate very unfortunate oh you sacrificed you're gonna leave two cards on my side of the field oh what a big mistake what a big mistake by you unless that's a trap card that's gonna kill me i think that was a big mistake that could still be a dark hole and wipe me out yes all monsters okay all monsters perfect Right, so now we're back in a clean slate. I'm going to... Dude, you have nothing for the white magical hat. Because it's a light monster. There we go. That should be victory for us. Woohoo! Alright, forest... the forest play was not... <laughs> not as, as big of a play as uh, I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize that uh, the ghouls had monsters that could benefit from the forest as well. So, But it is the only field card I had, so it was worth a try. Uh, Nah, I want to keep the light monster... On my side of the field. I understand having the strong monster would also be good, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, what if? Well, wait, what? What is the reason? He has any like wind? Yeah, hold on. He should just do it this way. So if he's like a dark hole or something, then what magical hat is gone anyway? And he's not gonna have like some sort of weird type matchup with the fiend against the forest. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Then next turn we should win. Okay, okay, okay. And then we'll see if there's any more in the in the park. I'm going to try and clear out all the ghouls uh, before I end off this episode. Alright. Face by 5, 2800 Domino, Fire Reaper, uh, Skeletal Grim Reaper. Its arrow can directly inflict... Oh, 50 LP? Okay, that's like nothing. Master Merrick Ishar, I beg your forgiveness. Alright, there's got to be another one here. There's another one here. There might be one, another one down. Oh, shall I live forever? Fall before me. Oh, wait, hold on. You, I feel like you had different dialogue there. Some of the other ones. All right, well, we already know that White Magical Hat is good enough to win. So, it was nice knowing you. Oh, gosh. We just have, like, the best starting hand. Or, I guess, the best starting six cards. Between uh, White Magical Hat and Melkid, the four-phase beast, we are in it for the long haul. We'll go ahead and put that there. And we're gonna put you face, you know, on the on the field. We we'll kind of have that out there. We have the widespread ruin, so we're protected, which means we're gonna go to town on this man's life points next turn. Uh, thirty-two hundred. Depending on what we draw, might be able to win this turn. Uh, hold on, hold on. Might end up being big brain play. Oh, it's not. It's fine. I was going to say, oh, if I end up just short, I might be able to use the forest to boost Gale Dogra just to have enough to, to kill, but we have enough to kill anyway, so I don't get to look as smart. That's all good. Quest by five, 27 on Domino. Nubia the Wicked, what's that? It's a fiend? Whoa, with 2,000. Okay, okay. 
like my deck level or my duelist level a little bit higher. That is a solid option. 2,000 attack for four stars. Yeah, our next meeting shall be your downfall. All right, there's got to be one more ghoul right at the bottom here. There has to be. Oh, baby. Okay, this is uh something. Whoa. I said queen. Not utterly. Yo, go, go. Ha, ha. Uh, you may have been the former Japanese champion, but you're nothing before me, the American champion. Why are you a ghoul? This is what you explain to the likes of you. Power rules above all. Leave your deck and get lost. In. Don't worry, I got this. I got this. It'd be a great place to, to stop and do this next time, but I'm actually just going to do this now. So uh, you guys are in for a treat. A uh, new prey comes along right for plucking. You can fall back to my new deck uh, like the others. Oh gosh, we walk onto the onto the screen, and that that's that's enough. All right, hopefully you are the same. In Convergent Factory, please be. I mean, I have to I have to hope that this is still all fiend stuff. It's not. That is not good for us. Shadow, wait a minute, wait a minute. No shot. Oh, okay. Okay, that actually worked out. Mm, but you have different types. I can't just have this anti-fiend deck now. Wait, is that a fiend I see? Hold on, maybe we're still in business. Depends on what you put on the field next. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to assume that you don't have a light monster. I think it's worth doing this. Rose Spectre of Dawn also benefits from Forest. I might... Might do Forest. Do Pot of Greed. Let us... Hmm. How, how strong? 900. Hold on, we might, we might be fine. Doing it this way. Yeah, all right. We might be okay here. You still putting down fiends? You are. Okay, okay. So he had a like weird start with a bunch of other monsters, but right now he's gone back into fiend territory, which is working out for us. And right now we have Rose Spectre of Dunn. So yeah, even if he does something like that, uh, we still have a monster strong enough uh, to to get through. I'll put that down for now. And just attack that way. I was like making sure I was like I'm not in a weird like type disadvantage in any way I am I what is my life points looking like uh all right I still have over 3,000 I was like should I bother attacking or I'll do a little bit of damage there have a robo okay we should be set all right let's actually so you're at oh 21 25 again I was gonna be like actually you know what I'm gonna do it just because I can Look at that. We're going to use the forest. And now we can one-shot. Take that. <laughs> all right, all right. Woo, that was rough, but we did it. Deck capacity increased by 30. 20,000 domino. Barrel dragon. Let's go. Mechanical dragon filled with cannons. It can wipe out up to three monsters on the opponent's field with a two-in-one success rate. Uh, it sounds really good, but imagine you're in a position where you can have two monsters on the field that you can sacrifice to bring this out. So you're probably not in a position where you need to be taking out uh, three monsters on the opponent's side of the field. So this effect is actually pretty bad. Uh, but Barrel Dragon is really, really cool. So it may end up in my deck anyway. It's also a uh, Machine Shadow. So there might be uses for it. I think you're uh, you're good, huh? Must be uh, must be to stay in the way of my vengeance. Oh, where are my friends? Your friend Wheelers? And you go tell Yugi this. Buying Master Merrick Ishar is a waste of time. Exit is nothing compared to Master Ishar. Ha ha ha, be prepared to fall. All right, so we have uh, information to share. Actually, don't think I need to walk around the park like that. Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all connects. I could have just done that. Uh, I'm basically just going to go back to my house so I can save and we can end this off. Uh, I do think that I will be able to... I, I, I need to check. I need... Oh, okay, Yugi's right there. All right, we're going to just do this now. Hey, Yugi, so... I got a good lead. Billy Willow was kidnapped. I heard from Tristan. That idiot. What was he doing? Why, do you know anything? Oh, I don't know Wheeler's whereabouts now. Central Kaiba should know exactly where Wheeler is. All uh, dual discs have a transponder built in. 
The organizer can track the location of the duelists. Go to Kaiba Corporation and speak to Seto Kaiba. Uh, thank you, Mai. It's nothing. I'm worried about Wheeler and Taya. Hurry up and find them. Yeah, so let's go. Alright, so it seems like we may uh, be able to go to uh, Kaiba Corporation, but uh, until then, I'm just going to chill with uh, Yugi in my room, I guess. And uh, yeah, we're going to go to the next part of the game. I don't know if it's like a new location uh, we're going to get to go to or what, but I will figure that out on the next time. But hopefully you enjoyed this uh, slightly longer episode compared to the other ones, as we made a lot of progress and beat like all the ghouls. Uh, so that was fun, and I figured it out myself, so go me. Um, but yeah, I'll see you on the next time for whatever comes next. Uh, so until then, peace out.